Hi everyone, good to see you again. I'm not in Hamburg today. I'm in one of my other favorite cities in Germany. You might figure out when you see this building in the back. Yeah, right. I'm in Cologne today and that's for a certain reason because Cologne is hosting the Fotokina exhibition, which is one of the biggest photo and videography exhibitions, I guess, in the world. And uh, let's see what they got for us there. it wasn't because this is yet just a prototype but there were so many other things I could try out especially the Z7 of Nikon which was mounted on this robot arm. What's obvious at this Photokina is that all the big producers of cameras are working on high quality cameras that have large sensors and one other thing they all have new mounts. So for example, Canon is coming up with an R mount and completely new lenses, as well as Panasonic. That is very interesting because they are providing uh, the S1 camera and they provide the L mount, which is also new. So this means updating your camera means updating your lenses as well, or adapting would be another option. But it's gonna be expensive, that's for sure display right here. Uh, if you do vid videography, what, what does this do? Throw so you can set this. Oh, you can set, you can how, set what it you... for whatever you like. It's fully customizable. Shutter, shutter on the lens. Shutter speed. <laughs> I was right. using it last night with the ISO set. Um, yeah. To quickly adjust the ISO. You can also Canon adjust, offered uh, uh, the possibility to try out the new Canon well e EOS uh, R system. Ah, uh, yes. So you'll notice that the trackpad is no longer here. No. And the reason being is that the camera is fully customizable now. Yep, so it's fully touch screen as well. And you've got the electronic viewfinder opposed to the optical viewfinder. It's a beautiful camera. Yeah, yeah I think it's a beautiful camera. Uh, but, uh, well, I like it small. And, and I'm, uh, I was wondering how small the smallest lenses are. That's the thing, when you have it every day in your bag and I use it outside and you, that you can take it everywhere, every day, that, that's what I'm looking for. So, but it's, it's a beautiful camera. here on the Photokina, huge, big, um, it's a new concept and they um, are kind of focusing on two segments now. One thing they seem to concentrate on is cameras with bigger sensors, uh, with more technology included, high professional uh, gear, and then the segment more for the consumers. Um, cheaper cameras and also including smartphone photography. Huawei seems to be very present here as well, introducing a new H20 Pro. Of course the H20 Pro was introduced earlier this year, but here they were presenting it in a very prominent way. Other highlights, especially in the smartphone market, were these providers of mobile equipment such as e-image all sorts of gimbals that have become pretty cheap, pretty affordable within the last month. But one of my favorites was uh, the DJI booth with uh, lots of drones and a workshop with Philip Bloom. A drone is a camera. Well, these drones are cameras. So you've got to think of it as a camera, as any other camera. Plan your shots as much as you can. But also, you know, we don't have like a shot list. Be willing to actually find shots when you're up there. But think about the shots. Just don't just fly aimlessly and then try and cut what you've got together. Think about shots. So 
so almost 6 p.m. and Photokina, the first day of Photokina 2018 is over. Uh, that was my just one day at Photokina, but I'm very impressed. My favorite moment was really that drone workshop with Philip Bloom. I had no idea that he was here, here actually. And um, also the other workshop, Action Photography, really enjoyed that one. Took away some key learnings from that as well. Um, to sum it up, uh, I'm pretty overwhelmed by my impressions so far. And what I see is that um, if you want to upgrade to the new systems that were introduced here, you probably would need the new lenses as well to get the full um, advantages of those systems. And that means spending a lot of money, of course. But uh, there are still the other cameras, like the G70, for example, that I got here. Uh, I bought that one as a used camera, and they're still showing it here at Photokina. So uh, I hope you learned a little bit here at the fair. Um, feel free to subscribe to my channel to get more news about filmmaking and to get some tips and tricks that I'll provide on tutorials, and hopefully on a regular basis. And I hope to see you soon.